เล็กเล็กเล็กเล็กเล็กIt's your job to guide them through various side-scrolling levels made up of a wide assortment of obstacles and mazes. For every platforming section, there's a puzzle section. In essence, Loco Roco is a fusion of a puzzler and a platformer, because making it to the end of every stage isn't good enough. You need to locate each and every secret in every single stage, of which there are dozens upon dozens of hidden goodies, often in plain sight. What makes Loco Roco so interesting is that you don't actually control the Loco Roco, but instead control the world. By pressing the L and R buttons on the PSP, you can shift and tilt the world to get the little creatures to roll around. By pressing both buttons at the same time, you can cause them to jump. You can also combine Loco Roco together. You see, there's this specific fruit that causes the Loco Roco to grow and combine with the current one on screen, thereby increasing its overall size and mass. If you press the circle button, you can cause the Loco Roco to split apart. Each stage has a maximum of 20 Loco Roco that can be found on top of other secrets. As you can see in the video, the larger the Loco Roco, the more its physics change. You won't be able to leap as high or roll as fast. There are various elements to the stages which help in this aspect, as you'll find special bumpers and other objects that will help you make it to the stage's exit. After finishing the main game, you can play around in your own Loco house, participate in mini games, and even create your own Loco levels. The levels you create unfortunately can't be shared online directly with the PSP, however they can be uploaded to the computer and then shared online like that. Or you can share your levels directly with another player who has a PSP. So there are quite a few options to share your creations. The graphics are bright, colorful, and dare I say it, very un-PlayStation-like. The graphics are cute, colorful, and stylish, which isn't exactly what players expected back during the very late PlayStation 2 and early PlayStation 3 days, as we were going more and more into realistic tones with every new game released. This was a nice change of pace and scenery and graphics that hold up really well today. Loco Roco's music is extremely impressive for a handheld game. The soundtrack's concept is really unique in that each world has a specific theme that runs through the music. In each piece, you'll hear voices of Loco Roco singing in the background in their own fake language. Each world has a Loco Roco with a different voice and a thematically different world. The first world, and primarily what you're seeing here, has Loco Roco which sound like children. The second features a female Loco Roco voice, and so on and so forth. Add the different voiceovers to various musical genres, and you have one hell of an impressive soundtrack. Loco Roco is a game that pretty much time has forgotten. And it's a shame, too, because the simple gameplay and sound fusion works so well. Loco Roco is an absolutely perfect game to play in short sessions, and is a must-have title for PSP owners. I'll cover Loco Roco 2 in a future review, even though technically we already have a review on our PSP playlist, although it's extremely outdated today. 
But now rest easy in knowing that if you like what you see here, you can purchase a UMD version for just a few dollars, or you can download it from the PlayStation Network. If you own a PlayStation Vita, you'll be pleased to know that you can download this one directly to the Vita through the PlayStation Store. Hey, I love you. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ya? Comment ya? Et toi? Mais, mais.